Hi everyone, I'm Mats Lidell. In this talk I will show how you can link to personal data using hyperbole support for implicit button types. Before starting, a few words about me. I work as a software engineer and in my spare time I'm co-maintaining the hyperbole package together with the package author Bob Weiner. Hyperbole dates back to 1993 and have had some inactive years in the past, but work is now active again. The package is available through the GNU ELPA package archive. The talk will focus on creation of implicit button types. For more info on hyperbole, listen to other presentations and check out the package documentation. What I want you to take with you from this talk is that the implicit button types can make patterns in your files into buttons, and that new implicit button types can quickly be created by using the defill and the file macros. So, what is an implicit button type? I think of it as a text pattern that has some extended meaning. When you see the pattern in the text, you can think of it as a button type. And when you press the button, something related to that meaning happens. It can be jumping to some place, opening an external tool, doing some computation. So there can be some action associated with the pattern. To make it clearer, let's look at some examples. Let's start with something that is maybe so obvious that you don't even think of it as a pattern, a file name. When you see such a string in text, you will naturally associate it with a file on disk, and <clears throat> if you would click on it, you would probably expect that file to open. In the first sentence on the slide, you might recognize the file name for the bash initialization file, .bash rc. Hyperbole comes with built-in support for recognizing files and directed path names as implicit button types in text. For Hyperbole to take action on a button type, you move the cursor within the button and press meta return or use a mouse click. So let's try that. Similar for the path slash user slash local in the next sentence. That will open the corresponding directory using Dirid mode. Other examples of built-in implicit button types that have probably recognizes are email addresses, web addresses, uh, request for comment documents in the form of RFC followed by number, GNU debugs issues, plus many more. These are some examples of implicit button types with built-in support. I list them here to give you an idea how the text pattern in itself is enough for the system to recognize it as something actionable. So, as shown, Hyperbole has built-in support for implicit buttons. There is only one problem here. The behavior is predefined. There is, of course, a trade-off. It is convenient to get many button types out of the box with likely good standard behavior, and that works in many places. But what if you would want to create your own completely new mapping, possibly to your own data? It is here that hyperbole support for creating new implicit button types comes in. For the full pattern matching button type, like for the file name and examples we just looked at, you need to find the implicit button using uh, the macro defib. The downside of that is you need to code at the earliest level. However, if you are creating a new pattern that has well-defined delimiters, there is support for that in an easier way. These support functions or other macros are defil and defile. We will look at those macros soon, but first, my definition of personal data. I think of personal data as something that <clears throat> you would like to link to, but is not necessarily in a form supported by any known tool. It might be stored on a web server, local storage, or could even be some computation rather than a link. What all these cases have in common is that you want to be able to reference it in a short and for you descriptive way. So when you write text, you can use a, a new implicit type to create the connection. This might be a bit abstract, so let's look at an example. Suppose you have a flat file structure with some nodes in each file. It can look like this. In the data folder, we have two files that represent the nodes we have taken. 
we now want to be able to link to these nodes from outside of the data folder. Let's make an implicit button type that opens a file in this structure. To make the pattern stand out in text, we use double braces as start and stop delimiters. An implicit button instance would then look like this. We can create that using the defill macro, like this. This invocation of the field creates a button type demo link to file with the start delimiter of two braces and the end delimiters of two other braces. The regular expression dot star pattern to match everything between the delimiters and finally the action defined by the link expression. Pattern substitution is performed on the link expression before evaluation so that the text that is in between the delimiters is asserted with the backslash backslash ampersand is in the link expression. So all in all, the implicit type instance will result in the link expression of tilde data file A, which we recognize as a file path. With a single line expression, we have created our own hyper button syntax that we can use in any AMAX buffer to link to this custom set of data. So let's evaluate the defill and use it. I have prepared the files so that they already contain some text and implicit links. So from the presentation, we can go to file A and from there to file B. Since the hyperbole path expression supports outline structures, we can, as an extra bonus, reference directly the headers in the files. So we can, for example, link directly to the more nodes in file B. So we have now created a simple, but still an info system. Looking deeper at the link expression, it can be of four different types. A file path expression, as we have already looked at, a brace delimited key series, that is a series of command keys for performing some action, much like a keyboard macro. A URL, a function that takes one argument, which will be given the button text as input. The URL link expression allows you to link to web pages. So if the data you want to link to is accessible through the web and the URL can be constructed from the button text in a meaningful way, it is possible to do that. Let's create a button type that links to GNU software. The URL to the GNU software catalog is www.gnu.org slash software. And with what we know about the fill, it is easy to create a button type for that. It can look like this. And here are two possible button linking to Emacs and Hyperbole. So let's again evaluate the defill and use it. Please note that not all GNU software is under that URL, so this simple definition will not work to link to everything. To highlight the fact that the button action does not have to be a link, but can be any action, let's look at the math example. Here is a button type that does some math and writes the result in the message area. Let's evaluate and use it. Before ending, I would like to mention the default macro. It is similar to the defile macro, but simpler since it uses the form, the implicit button type with no delimiters. It is simply angle bracket type link expression and angle bracket. So the implicit button type contains the link type in clear text. For a recent FSF software button would be created like this. And it would be instantiated in text like this. I have shown how you, with the help of the refill macro in Hyperbole, quickly can create implicit buttons. With those buttons, you can link to your personal information in the form it may have. By the nature of the implicit buttons, those can be used from any file in Emacs. The button types can be created to be used long term, but even short term use within the session is possible since the creation is simple and quick.
Inspired by this, I hope you will find ways to create implicit buttons that will support you getting to your information. For the simplest cases, the fill and the file macros might be enough. For more complicated cases, using a tailor-made function can be an option. If you know ELISP, use the fib macro, which gives you full control over the button type. Thank you.